What's up guys, let's talk about the dovi, or also known as the wolf cichlid. This fish in the aquarium industry is probably known as like the most mean, predator, badass fish you can keep. These things get massive, all the way up to 24 inches, and you know, they're, they have a mouthful of teeth, they get huge, their coloration is just blast, blasting full of color. You look at them, they just, I mean it's just... You cannot get around how cool this specimen is. Um, it's it's almost next level fish keeping though because you need a massive tank. Uh, you know, a big fish like this in a smaller tank makes them you know somewhat susceptible to like infections, hole in the head, etc. So then you also in hand need crazy filtration, and we're not talking like. You know just a canister filter you need to like uh, maybe a couple canister filters it really depends you know uh, battling water filtration amounts to two things the amount of water versus how much media you're forcing through it so um, these fish though tropical temps you know uh, anywhere from 78 to 82 they're from like Honduras waters and uh, they basically cannot be kept with anything because they are just so territorial, have a mouthful of teeth. Uh, yes, you will see videos on the internet of people successfully keeping them with other fish, but uh, that, you know, it's, it's said that when they are younger, they can be kept with other fish, but once they hit that stage of adulthood, they just lose it, they just flip, it's crazy. And uh, I've heard this from numerous people that a switch just goes off and they kill everything. So it's really just a matter of time. I'm not sure why people even test test this theory. It's like, oh, look at me. I can keep uh, tank mates with this dovi. And, uh, and then you see later on, oh, it killed the tank mates. And it's just like, it's, it's just stupid to me that people try this. And you're not you're not gonna be the one person that maybe just like changes science. It's just how it works, people. So uh, taking care of these fish, they are. Uh, we talked about water temp, water parameters. You need clean water because they're they're constantly getting hole in the head. Uh, other things. Uh, diet is also huge. Make sure that you. They say not to use live feeders because they're full of just crap that makes them sick, and uh, it's just not good fish keeping. I would say uh, get them on a strict pellet diet, and uh, you can supplement it with treats like in between here and there, like shrimp. Um, cut up tilapia, just anything that is good like that, you know, earthworms, etc. Live feeders, bad news. Goldfish, absolutely terrible. Uh, I will slap you if you do that because it's just these fish deserve a good diet, clean water, a big tank, etc. So, um, we talked about diet. Uh, water parameters. Let's talk about tank size. As I said before, these things grow, can grow up to 24 inches long, which is insane. It's probably not going to grow that big inside of an aquarium. It's common for people to start with a 125 gallon, the six foot by 18 inch uh, tank. It's a super common size, fairly cheap. You can start with the dovi aka wolf cichlid in a 125 but plan on needing a bigger tank when it gets bigger because that's just uh the math of it when you have a fish this large you're gonna need you know 200 gallons and up um it's really uh the world is your oyster as far as how big you want to go or how big you can go maybe your diet or I mean, not your diet but your checkbook is really gonna you know how much do you want to spend your living lifestyle, etc. Um, awesome fish, uh, wolf cichlid, aka dovi. In my personal opinion, it is the meanest aquarium fish there is. I know some people might say um, the red devil is or the umbi, but I am going with the dovi. That is my personal opinion. 
I would like to know if you also think these are the meanest fish on the planet. So, um, that basically sums up the wolf cichlid, you know, uh, all the other things like how you set up your tank really does, it doesn't make a huge difference. These guys are pretty adaptable as far as like pH, uh, if you want to use sand substrate or gravel, a lot of people choose not to use either or or a substrate because, you know, you can keep cleaner water parameters without a substrate. But on the other hand, the tank looks really kind of bare and stupid in my opinion. <clears throat> um, I keep saying this awesome fish. Um, if you have the guts to get one, I highly advise you go for it. And uh, yeah, send me pictures. I love seeing these fish comment how big yours is um there's a facebook group uh dovi keepers and wolf sickly keepers join up post your pics um i'm a member over there so yeah all right cool guys awesome blossom